guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys an update on all of my catacetum orchids. So in my last video, I showed you a couple that I'm having issues with. So I thought, let me show you all of the catacetums, where they are with their growth cycle and um, how they're doing generally. If you guys like these kinds of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more uh, orchid updates like this. So let's jump right in with the Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. So this orchid is the furthest along out of all of my Catacetum orchids. This one is very, very tall. It's the largest one. Its bulb has completely matured and it's got a flower spike. So I counted uh, 19 flowers. It keeps branching on the bottom so every day i sort of see more flowers just forming and the flowers that uh, first started to bud are opening a little bit now the flowers are a little wonky they were a little wonky last year as well and i think that's to do with um keeping up with the watering um, so i water this orchid every single day and if you guys remember from the repot video I um, added some slow release fertilizer in the um, in the mix and it's pushed out a cane that's even larger than last year's cane so this is doing very very well my only struggle with this one is that it doesn't fit on my grow shelves anymore um, so I had to put it on the very top shelf but otherwise this is a very big space hog but it's doing quite well so last year it had uh, five to seven different flowers and this year it looks like it's gonna give me 19. So feeding the circuit has made a huge difference in making sure that it produces more blooms. And I'm really excited to get this one um, fully open and um, ready to go. But I will uh, put the bloom pictures of it once it's ready to go up on Instagram so you guys can take a closer look at them. This one has been doing really, really well. So let me show you how the rest of my Catacetum orchids are doing. Um, so everything is pretty much an active growth um, with the exception of the ones that I showed you guys in my last video. So I've got four that are a little bit slow to get started in the season and have some issues. However, the rest of the Catacetums are in full active growth. Um, they're pushing out new leaves, they're starting to uh, fatten up their, their bulbs, and um, let me just jump right in and show you. So this first one is the Catacetum Milana Davidson crossed with the Catacetum Dark Odyssey. She is in spike and looking very good. Um, the growth is coming in nicely. Um, she's got some good roots. Um, the only thing that I'm a little concerned about is the back bulb. It's a little bit desiccated, but she's getting good water. Um, she will do just fine. Um, the only thing that I'm thinking with these catacetums is that um, it may have been better for me to leave the original root system since a lot of these are smaller than the witchcraft. So that's one observation that I'm going to take into next year and see if it makes a difference but Milana Davidson is looking good. The next one is the Catacetum Chuck Taylor crossed with the Catacetum Double Down. So this one actually had some spider mites. It was the only one that was infested by it, um, as you could see by the leaves. Um, I treated it and the spider mites went away. Uh, Catacetums are very prone to spider mites as their leaves get um, a lot of sap and they uh, they just attract them a lot. Otherwise, it's growing um, some pretty good roots here. Um, it's getting full water. It's getting hosed down um, almost daily, and that growth is coming in nice and strong. So I look forward to seeing how this does. Next up is Catacetum Chuck Taylor. This one is also doing really well. It's got some good roots that have gone down. Um, great root system everything's going down to the bottom i'm actually considering moving these from these plastic pots into these uh, clay pots so that they could dry out a little bit quicker i've noticed when i water sometimes it takes like two three days to dry out if it's not incredibly hot um, and i just want to make sure that that root system stays nice and healthy and doesn't rot or anything but otherwise catacetum chuck taylor is looking really good 
And as if you can notice a theme here, um, last year SVO had a lot of uh, Chuck Taylor crosses and I bought this for my birthday last November and I bought the mini Catacetum Hall. So a lot of them have Chuck Taylor as the parent and um, you'll start seeing a lot of crosses here. Maybe about four or five of them have this as the uh, parent. So a lot of them will look very similar. So we'll see how they, uh, they, the cousins all look. All right, you guys have seen this one. This is 8123, which is also known as the Catacetum Memoria Dorothy Wells. This is a cross between Chuck Taylor once again and the Catacetum Dentigrianum. This one is doing incredibly well. It's got a bulb which is uh, starting to fatten up a bit. She spiked. Unfortunately, the blooms only lasted about a week, but she's growing really good roots. Um, as I mentioned, I want to get these into the clay pots. I think I'm just going to slip it out of the pot and put it in the clay pot because I've noticed roots coming down and just sort of hanging out in the pool of water on the bottom. Um, but this is doing really well, growing really nicely. Um, of course, uh, my cat uh, chewed this up as if it's catnip, but it'll be fine. Um, this one is also doing well, and I look forward to seeing it bloom perhaps a second or a third time. So the mini catacetums are supposed to bloom multiple times per year, which is why I got them, and they're not too small. So this one is about... The leaf span is a little bit larger, but I'd say it's about maybe 14 inches tall. Um, so it doesn't take as much space as, say, my Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Moving on to yet another uh, Chuck Taylor cross. This is the Chuck Taylor cross with the Catacetum Susan Fuchs. This one is also starting to uh, grow its bulb. The leaves are starting to come out more. Um, and uh, root system is looking pretty good. Um, the back bulb was starting to shrivel a bit when I started well, introducing water. So that's one thing that I was looking for before I introduced water. I wanted to see the roots get to the bottom of the pot and I was monitoring this. This one hasn't fully fattened up yet, but I think once I have these orchids with more bulbs, these will start to um, have more energy and not get as as sucked up, if that makes sense. But otherwise, this one is looking great. So this one is a total cutie. This is Catacetum Russwood. Russwood bloomed for me um, last year. This was my smallest Catacetum of all of them. I'd say it's less than a foot tall once it's fully matured. It's very adorable. This is a cross between the Catacetum Cleburianum crossed with the Catacetum Tigrinum SVO. Um, it's in active growth. Um, can't wait to get uh, buds on it again. We've got some roots that have gone down into the bottom. Not as many as the other uh, Catacetum orchids, but so far it's growing well. Not super concerned about the, uh, the bulb over here, but it's getting active. Um, it's getting watered very actively, so can't wait to see this bloom. You can see the uh, old flower spike down there. And this one is also supposed to bloom between two and three times a year. Uh, very cute little flowers. I They don't last super long, but they're very, very pretty. Um, and this is a nice one. Okay, this one is Catacetum Chuck and Louise. And this one is the largest of the mini bunch. Um, so this one's about a foot and a half tall. This one's growing very vigorously. So if we take a closer look, we've got a new growth coming in in addition to this growth that is maturing. Of course, cat thinks this is catnip, but what can you do about that? But this one has a nice big root system. Um, it's um it's got a lot of very viable roots here it's growing probably the fastest of all of the others um back bulb is still a little bit shriveled but i think it'll be just fine as this new growth is doing okay minus my cat destroying it but it's looking good and i think let me take it out fully so you guys can see it um it's pushing out a ton of roots overall so I'm curious how large this growth will get. And if we actually take a look at um, this bulb over here, when I first received this orchid, I received it in the winter when everything was going into dormancy and it was pushing out this growth as like a new growth. And I just stopped watering it because it was time to 
let it go into dormancy. So this bulb completely stopped growing. And then come springtime, it started pushing out these two new growths. So this one, and then this one over here. And then if you take a closer look, we've got an additional um, growth starting at the very bottom. So I'll keep you updated on how that turns out. But this one looks like it's gonna be the, one of the more vigorous uh, catacetum orchids. And it's also one of the largest uh, mini catacetums. These orchids in the back, I got them together at the uh, SVO customer appreciation event. They all came together. Um, I'm having trouble with all four of them. Well, with the exception of this one, this one is growing fine. It's just going a little bit slower than I'd like. It has a, just like one viable root. However, I've started watering it and the back bulb isn't crazy shriveled. But the back three, which I will take you closer to, the back three here, um, I'm just a little bit disappointed in how they've grown. You can refer back to the video that I just posted on my um, uh, SVO uh, six month update for a more detailed assessment of what I think is going on with these orchids. But um, the Cloesia Jumbo York, I watered too early. I think I got too cocky with my Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft and I stopped watering it because I noticed that the roots stopped growing and then um, these leaves are starting to fall off. So I'm gonna reach out to um, SVO and see if they have any thoughts on this, but it is growing a small new growth. Let me see if I could find it for you guys. You could sort of see it right there, pushing out a new growth. So hopefully it'll uh, start pushing out new roots as well, but I hope I don't lose this one um, it would be unfortunate because I was looking forward to seeing it. Cichnoches Brown's Choice. This one is tough because it never pushed out roots except for one, which I will find for you guys. And it looks like that root is actually, <laughs> it went from yesterday to today. It looks like it died off. I introduced water to it, but I felt like I had to because this bulb is just completely desiccated. So I don't know what's up. I'm going to send an email to Fred. Um but we'll, we'll see what happens. I hope I don't lose this one, but it's already the middle of July and all of these orchids should already be in active growth. So I'm not sure what's up with that one. The one in the back is the Cygnoches Richard Brandon cross with the Marin Gleason. This was the broken orchid that I received. I got this for free, so no, no biggies there, but it's also not really pushing any roots yet. Um, if we look closer, it's got uh, two new growths coming in, but what in the heck and Bob is going on? So I'm just mostly concerned about these three. These are probably ones that are higher risk for me. In hindsight, if I could do anything different with these, I would maybe keep the original roots on and then just add moss around them just because these are much smaller than the Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft, then perhaps they had less energy to sustain themselves. But I am concerned that they're not really pushing out new roots at this point. That one I made a mistake with and watered too early. These I introduced water just because it's so late in the growing season and that back bulb is just, and the one in the front, they're just fully desiccated. So we'll see how it goes. Otherwise, um, that's my update for uh, early summer. We're in uh, the middle of July right now, so everything is in active growth, or should be. So I'll keep you guys posted on how everything does. With regards to the blooms on Milana Davidson cross with uh, the Dark Odyssey, I'll post updates on Instagram once that opens up. Same with the Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft, so give me a follow on Instagram if you guys want to see the blooms right away. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will keep you updated. Bye everyone.